Welcome back, fragrance family, and for this time, we're gonna be reviewing something from Zoologist. As, exactly. As you can see, it is a newest release, and it's called Squid. Squid. Now the perfumer for this is Celine Barrel. Wow. Now, um, before we do the first impressions, we just want inform you that we have pre-sprayed this one so as we could give you the top, the mid, and the base of what yep. specific notes are standing out yes. with this perfume, okay? Definitely. Yeah, so yeah um, we have pre-sprayed this. This one contains the base notes, this one contains the top notes, and this one contains the mid notes. Okay. So this one is a 40 minute spray, this one is a 10 minute spray. Um, Squid. Yeah. I'm gonna let Mr. Armin here, my guest again for yeah. today in the channel. I'm with yes. I'm gonna let him snip the top, the mid, and the base. Okay, All right? Yeah, sure. So for the top notes, brother, this one, top notes. Wow. Did you, did you, yeah, you get I got it. it, yeah. Mid notes. Mid notes. Okay. All right? Yeah. And this one is for the base. Please, please uh, smell it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is your first impression, brother? My first impression for the squid, there is this violet color, or let's say blue, because the color of the juice is blue, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, for the sake of the audience, I'm going to be showing them the... Yeah. Well, go, please. So, it's like, uh, in my opinion, in my imagination that from this scent, it is very violet color so it's purple color on my opinion I can imagine this is hidden in a very very deep ocean which is waiting to hunt some other creatures in the sea yeah there's something stickiness going on on this mm. scent at the same time it's also aquatic and spicy as well it is it makes you like uh, very mysterious. It's just you. You just want to hide inside the deep ocean. Wow. So I'm sniffing the top notes. Yeah. What I do get is this spicy pepper. Yeah. It's a black pepper type of pepper. It's not white pepper. Yeah. It is ground, dry, black pepper. I see. Now along with that, it has this inky. On um, new ones. Yeah, there's it something has, inky going on. Yeah. We got the aquatic marine blue notes. Also, going on to the mid notes, we still have this quite linear development. We still have the salty accord. We still have this uh, inky accord. We still have this. Uh, we still have this amber green. Yes, yes. I forgot to say, there's that, amber green going on. Yeah, this this uh, aquatic amber green yeah. accord, which gives the saltiness onto the composition. Yes, it's inky aquatic. It's really different from Ankara Noir. Ankara Noir. Yeah. It is. By it is Lick. completely different. So that the inkiness in Ankara Noir comes from the vetiver, the bitterness of the vetiver. Yep. But for squid, the inkiness is, I'd say, very unique, very reminiscent of this delicacy here in the Philippines. Yeah. This one. Now, that is called adobong pusi. Yeah. It is a native delicacy here in the Philippines, and it is cooked by boiling, by boiling the squid, squid yeah. along with its ink, yeah. along with the. Uh, what do you call this? Along with the vinegar. Vinegar, yeah. So it has this salty, inky nuance, which is portrayed by squid really well. With added some spices. Yes. You cannot find this kind of a scent, I think, in other scents, like in oh, yeah. other niche houses. No, you cannot find. It is, it's a kind of a scent very unique. It's definitely unique. The spicy nuances plus the inkiness which is going on here, which is, uh, it goes combo together with the, what do you call that, the aquaticness. Oh yeah. I think this one would fit from casual up to semi-formal. Oh. Casual up to semi-formal. Semi is this for women? Is this for men? 
I would safely say this is a unisex set. For, for the weather conditions, I think this would suit um, humid weathers, uh, warm weather. Yeah. For, for the winter time, I don't think this is the best option for it. This would get you attention, this would this would arouse curiosity from the women, from the men. Um, it's an X-ray department, so longevity. I don't, I don't have any complaints about it. No complaints about the longevity. Projection. It does project. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I think for squid, there's there's not a lot that I could complain about. This is a very safe scent. Knowing zoologists that they venture into this really different sense this one i could say is one of them those mass placing scents that holds their uh, their values for providing consumers with this very unique concept yeah i think that this would be a head turner yeah for those uh aquatic lovers out there try this out so uh, what would you recommend for them would you recommend sample it first or full bottle working how, what would you recommend for our audience? If you're a fan of aquatics, definitely must try, definitely yeah. must have. Yeah. Ink nose is something that's it's it's not present in our modern perfumery. And zoologists brought okay. that has been our uh, first impressions and a review for Squid by zoologists created by Salim Barrow. Yeah. Please do not forget to share this one. Squid is coming up, I think, in the end, end of, of the August. August. Yeah, end, end of, of the August. August. Yeah, end of the August. So take this review as your guide in yes. purchasing squid. Again, these are just our recommendations, opinions, and suggestions. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you do you. All right. This has been your hosts, Armin and Alex. And please stay tuned. We'll be releasing our first impressions of the whole zoologist line. Yes. Maybe including this. We'll see you in the next time. Thank you. See ya. No, I just can't. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs>